Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 6 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. In this video I will show you how to design a responsive sign up page. If you are not yet watched previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files, links in the description. Let's create a new web form for our sign up page. Right click on your website name and select add and click web form. Name your web form and click OK. Switch to source view. So this is a fresh page, so we need add the bootstrap references to our new page. So copy the head contents from default.aspx. Now select the head contents from signup.aspx and click paste. Change the title of our page to sign up. Now copy the jQuery before the closing body tag from default page and paste it into the sign up page. Next is we need the navigation bar in our sign up page. So copy the nav bar code and paste it inside a division. Now run the project. It looks good. Now remove the active class from the home list item. Now let us create our controls. Create a new division. Inside this division we create all the controls needed for our sign up page. Inside that create a label for username. Refresh the browser, now the label is not showing because the navbar is hiding our label. So to fix this issue, Let's create a new CSS class to make our controls in center. Open custom CSS file. Create a new class with the following attributes. This place any division at the center of the page. Now add the class to the division. Refresh the page, now the label is visible. Now to get inputs from the user, add a text box control from toolbox. Double click and add the control in the next line of label. Change the ID text. Refresh the page. Now we need to change the style of our text box. So add bootstrap form control class to the text box.
Now it looks good. Add a placeholder text for the control. Now check the responsiveness by reducing the browser window. You can see that the text box is not looks good in extra small devices. So add the column class to the label and the text box. To add a class to the text box add a division. Now refresh the browser, now it looks good. In this way create all the controls for our sign up page. Now the final result look like this. Now create a sign up button. Double click and add the button control. Change the ID and text. Also add the bootstrap button class to make the button look good. Our button is not aligned to other controls. So surround the button with a division and add the column class. Now it looks good, but we need some space. So create a new class in custom CSS. Add a 20 pixel margin at the top. Add the CSS class to the button division. Now it looks great. Now our controls are created. Now add the footer from the default page to sign up page. Copy and paste the footer section. Now the footer is positioned at the top of the page. To resolve this create a new CSS class. Copy the center page attributes and paste. Now add the CSS class to the footer tag.
Now footer is placed at center. So we need to tweak the CSS class. So change width and height to auto. Refresh the page, now it is gone. So we need to adjust the padding. Change top to 600 pixel. Now it correctly placed. Now our controls are not in center, so change the top padding to minus 40 pixel. Now our stunning sign up form is ready. Check the responsiveness. Now we need to change the register to sign up in both the forms. And link to the sign up.aspx. Add the active tag to the sign up list item in sign up page. Now refresh the page and see our final website. In the next video, I will show you how to code the sign up form and saving informations to the database. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot. Thank you, see you in the next episode.